To create the perfect faring room, it's important to know what you are aiming at. Danbred sows have a huge genetic potential and can deliver amazing KPIs. To have success in, in your faring room, it's important that you know what KPIs you are aiming at. KPIs such as born alive, piglet survivability, and so on are often rated very high. Just as important for the management of the fairing room is the flow of the animals through the unit to allocate the right number of staff to the unit to have enough spaces for nurse sows, for the next group of sows and so on. It's important to have a, a, a steady and stable flow. As well as some of the challenges that you can have in the fairing room can be caused by other uh, parts of the farms over or underperforming. So basically, you need in your farm to find the right balance between quality and quantity. 100% focus on quantity uh, at the expense of quality can actually be uh, of lesser value than a balanced uh, focus. So find the KPIs that balance the value of the output that you make and set that as your overall KPIs for the farm. Traditionally, we are using KPIs such as wean picks per sow per year, but are you sure that that is the right balance between KPIs in your setup? Generally speaking, setting up the perfect fairing room starts already at pre-fairing. Here we have important points such as hygiene to prepare the pen for the next litter and bedding for the sow to accommodate her behavioral requirements. These are points that can easily be handled by a checklist. First of all, feed the sows. There's a strong correlation between the time from the last feeding of the sow until the start of the fairing. The longer the time span, the higher the rate of stillborn. It's important to focus on surveillance and assistance. Check the sows every 20 to 30 minutes and register when the last piglet is born. Use that knowledge to determine when to assist the sows. When you see the fairing starting, prepare the piglet area. Turn on the heat lamp or the heated floor. Be sure to observe the signs of fairing. Restless sows and nest building behavior are clear evidence of the start of fairing. Your success in managing the high prolific Danbred sow is especially centered about the management of the newborn piglets. Ensure all piglets get access to the other quickly. The birth to nursing interval is critical for survival. Dry and warm pigs are able to thermoregulate as well as achieving an optimum body core temperature. Ensure that all piglets get at least 12 hours of colostrum intake, preferably from their own mother. Remember to focus on the sow, keep her in good health and in good body condition. One of the techniques that you can employ to secure sufficient colostrum intake is split suckling. This technique involves spreading the large litter into two equal groups and letting each group have their turn at the other. During the first days after fairing, there are some ongoing tasks. Continuously secure that the piglets are dry and warm and be sure that all staff in the unit understands how to handle piglets. Pick up piglets by the hind legs and support their weight by placing a hand under their chest. It's important to be as hygienic and careful as possible when you administer iron and you carry out tail docking. For your future gills, you could consider to use a patch to protect their teeth. Lastly, in relation to piglet processing, it's important to have a high level of hygiene to avoid navel infections and diseases. The Danbred sow has a huge potential for producing milk and feeding her is key in securing her ability to nurse a large number of piglets. A large milk production from the sow will enable her to manage a large litter. A high milk yield will maximize the number of nursing piglets. Feed management consists of steps such as daily adjustments, increasing the feed allowance by 8 to 10% per day, and emptying leftovers if needed. Don't forget water for the sows. We recommend a flow rate of minimum 8 liters per minute. Towards the end of the piglet's time in the fairing house, we can focus at weaning weight as a performance indicator. You should continuously benchmark your herd's performance against similar production setups. 
For example, reaching 6 kilos at 21 days is seen as a good goal. But you need to find the right balance between the KPIs in your herd, as I mentioned in the beginning of this presentation. In doing so, you can utilize the animal's full potential and set up the perfect farming room in no time.